Hello, people. What's happening? Um, so there's uh, it would seem that Bitwig has gone and goofed to a certain extent here. Um, so for anybody who hasn't heard about this yet, uh, there's a little bit of of drama in relation to Bitwig's release of their new devices. So they've released the Spectral Suite here. And uh, these are awesome devices. So basically what all of these do, just in case you haven't looked at them yet, is they allow you to sort of deal with things um, on a spectra level. So it's splitting things up into frequency bands and then you can put effects on those things individually and process them. Um, so they've got four devices here, the transient split, the frequency split, uh, the loud split and the harmonic split. And these allow you to do all sorts of things. Um, so the catch with these plugins is that Bitwig has decided that these devices would be premium devices. So these will cost you money outside of your current payment plan, subscription plan, whatever you might want to call it. Basically, Bitwig um, asks that you pay an upgrade fee. Uh, now, you can pay it every year if you want to stay up to date all the time, or you can just pay it you know, whenever something comes out that you're interested in. Um, so it's not really a subscription plan, but some people do see it that way, even though that's not what it is. But anyway, so getting on to you know why I think people are mad about this. Um, my opinion uh, on this differs a slightly from from what I've seen a lot of other people be annoyed about. Um, I am pretty annoyed about this. Uh, I think that the backlash to this is almost entirely Bitwig's fault. Um, there's certainly, I think, probably some misunderstanding happening from the people who are irritated about it. Uh, but that misunderstanding is completely the fault of Bitwig. Um, so these are uh, 75, I think they're $75 or whatever, uh, 75 euros, I'm not sure, something like that. They're usually 99, so you can get them get them on sale <laughs> um, if you want to do that. Um, I think the problem that people have with this is less about the devices. And my problem isn't really with the devices. I mean, you know, I can see from what these devices are doing that a lot of work went into these. Um, they probably are worth the price that's being charged for them. They're probably worth more than the price that's being charged for them. The issue, I think, is um, that Bitwig really didn't say anything about this. They just dropped the they just dropped the devices and goes, here are these devices. If you want them, you can pay for them. Um, and I don't think that was a very good way of going about it because uh, the previous communication on, on, on what the upgrade payment plan or whatever you want to call it, the previous communication on, on why they had set it, set it up that way is so that they could focus on the DAW, you know, you would be paying into your updates and they could focus on the DAW and put all their effort into the DAW and um, add devices to it and stuff like that. And the primary selling point, I suppose, was that with this way of, of doing things, with this way of paying, they wouldn't be incentivized, and I believe they said this themselves, they wouldn't be incentivized to hold devices back um, because, you know, you're paying them constantly. You, they're, they're getting a payment every year if, if you're holding up to that. So they just release stuff as it comes up. Um, that's not really what's happened here, though. Uh, these, these obviously have been developed separately um, and have been held back for this purpose of, of, of you know, selling them as a separate product, um, which I don't necessarily have a problem with. I think... What I have a problem with is I think that people who've been paying their upgrade plan um, had no idea that this was going to be the case. Um, so you're kind of in a position now where people are going to sort of start to feel like, okay, well, what does my, what does my, you know, upgrade pay for? So what is the criteria for a device to be a separate paid device? Is, is it just, you know, stuff that's particularly niche? Is it stuff that takes, you know, a certain amount of work? So I can see how some people might be going, okay, well, you know, maybe they're just going to upgrade the core DAW now and devices from here on out are going to be, are going to be, um, you know, a separate payment. I'm sure that's probably not the case, but the, the reality is, is that now, you know, a certain amount of stuff is going to be held back for a separate purpose and is going to be in development separately to the payment plan. And I think when you don't communicate with anybody about this beforehand or tell anybody that this is, you know, a plan that, that you've got, um, people's minds immediately go to, well, if I support this new venture, if I pay for these plugins 
am I disincentivizing? But and remember, this is the whole point of the payment plan in the first place, is that it incentivizes them to release stuff when it's done and not to hold it back for years for updates so that people will pay for them. If I support this, this venture, does that then disincentivize people? Does that disincentivize the people working on Bitwig um, from adding good stuff to the DAW and from, you know, maybe trying to cater to certain things that people might really want as a separate paid thing. Um, and I think there's no way around that. So so I think the, the thing is, is I think this is a good thing. I mean, I think any way that you can bring more resources in so that you can create better devices and that those can be integrated into the DAW, I think that's, I think that's great. The problem is, is that people need to know what it is they're paying for and what it is they can expect. And I think people just don't really know that with this news. They don't know, you know, if this feature they've been waiting to be added to Bitwig is going to be something they're paying for or or something that's going to come separately. So um, I think that's the primary reason people are annoyed. So my advice to Bitwig, um, if anybody from Bitwig is watching this video, which is not necessarily unlikely, um, if anybody from Bitwig is watching this video, I would say that, you know, this financially might be successful. I don't know whether it will or not. But I think certainly in the eyes of the people that have been using the DAW, I think this isn't a bad idea. This is this is a fine thing to do. I can understand that this project took a huge amount of work and that it justifies an extra payment. Uh, but if you're going to make changes like this, you need to communicate with them you need to communicate them to people in a way that they understand and in a way where they understand why they're paying a premium for this stuff and why paying a premium for this stuff isn't going to affect, you know, the things they're already paying for. Because um, I think it's hard for people to know. So I would say to Bitwig, they probably need to be much better at communicating. Um, and I seen, um, I think it was, on uh, Discord, I seen um, Databroth communicating the same thing, saying that, you know, he thinks the devices are absolutely worth the money, but but the communication, the communication is probably why people are upset about it. Um, I think I'm a little bit stronger on that. I think I think Bitwig's entirely at fault um, for not communicating this effectively with people who have been supporting them. Um, and I want to say I'm by no means advocating like you know not buying these things or anything like that. You know, Bitwig is a small company. They're not you, this massive, you know, hundreds of millions of of dollars company that, you know, um, doesn't need to make an income. So you should absolutely support them. But by the same token, if Bitwig want to maximize on these sort of things, you know, you've got a very small customer base who feel because they're using it all that less people use and it is a smaller company. You know, they've. I think they feel more personally invested in the DAW. And when you're, you know, not communicating things effectively with those people, um, I think it's understandable that they will get upset. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much my thoughts on it. Um, who cares? I don't know. I just thought I'd. I just thought I'd chime in. So um, hope you have a good day. And um, yeah, bye.